Hello viewers and welcome to a very special episode of the Grand Tour. Hey Josh, can I just stop you right now? Might I ask why this episode is so special? What, what, what do you mean special episode? What do you mean? Well, well, we do have some sad news. This will possibly be is the last episode that we do of the Grand Tour on GTA. Whoa, hold on a minute there. Have you forgotten something? What came out last week? For GTA? Oh, yes. Came out last week? Well, it's possible. The Batmobile. Possibly. Batmobile. So, Batmobile. technically, Captain Slow, you are wrong. This will not be the last ever episode, but it might be the last episode for a while. Mm. Because today, according to my iPhone, today, is Wednesday, the 8th of November, 2017, which is why we're here today. And a lot of you guys who have pre-ordered it already will know that it came out yesterday for the deluxe, uh, deluxe edition pre-orders. But yesterday was the official release day uh, of the deluxe edition of Need for Speed Payback. Wow. However, however, me and Josh sadly have gone away to two more days. What? Two days. It's almost here. <laughs> so, as today is a Conversation Street special, we have a few little things we like to discuss regarding this week. So, why don't we? Why don't we actually get into it? So, possibly for the last time in a little while. But again, welcome back to Conversation Street. <laughs> One more time for good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, now normally, now normally we, would, we would take a car in our track first, but we're a bit poor, so we have no cars at the moment. But speaking of cars, well, first of all, we already know that, uh, was it yesterday? Was it? it was yesterday, wasn't it? Yes, it was yesterday. Yeah, yes, yesterday, so November the 7th, uh, should you have pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition from the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Marketplace, uh, well that's what the Xbox 360 called it, but it's known for the Xbox Store, well, for the Marketplace. So from the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Marketplace, should you have pre-ordered it, you received it yesterday. So, well done to you guys who already started playing it. If so, I should think it looks amazing, the graphics do look amazing. Uh, the next thing I'm going to discuss real quickly as well is the Nissan, they're very nice looking Nissan GTR on the front. Doesn't she look beautiful? Oh, yes. And then not only that, but the brand new, now in the UK, possibly the US as well, we haven't seen this on the roads in real life because I'm not sure if it's out yet, but when, whether it's coming next year, I'm not too sure. But, um, Apparently, uh, there's a brand new BMW M5, which looks very nice. And at last but not least, to the right hand side of the front cover for the standard, uh, these are for the standard edition only by the way, uh, a very nice looking, well, uh, I believe, actually, I believe it is a uh, Chevrolet Bel I don't know, I believe mean, it's a Chevrolet, a 1950 Chevrolet Bel Yes, it is. It's a 1957, a 1950 Chevrolet. Mm. And then the last but not least, on the front cover, uh, well, it's actually a poster other than the front cover. Uh, I've actually found an Easter egg of how to unlock most of the cars in the game. Basically, complete all six chapters of the campaign, and as you go along, you will unlock most cars as you go along. And the, one of my favourite cars, one of the cars I cannot wait to drive. And more importantly, for the sound, it sounds amazing. The 2016 Mustang GT from Forza Horizon. Oh, Three. yes. I can't wait. Now, speaking of the cars, me and Josh will be doing some research. And we found uh, the full car list. Now, be aware, there are lots. I right, lost cars. The full price list, right, and their classes. 
So, should they, should he need the pronunciation of the clipper? Because I, I, I quite like my cars. I've played Need Speed mm -hmm. for years. So I've known, I've picked up most of the pronunciations of the cars. Uh, so should Josh need correcting, I will correct him most of the time. So Josh, just remember that the numbers are the prices. Okay? Yes, I remember and skip that. the most expensive cars. We'll put the most expensive cars at the bottom. Right, okay. Okay, so, Josh, are you ready? Make sure you've got a lot of puff in your breath, because you might need it. Okay, so starting... <laughs> these are in alphabetical order, by the way. So, the whole point of Conversation Street today. Captain Slow, over to you. Right. Uh, starting from the first car on the list, we have a drag, which is a race, is yeah. the uh, uh, well, well, basically basically every car is split into different classes like Forza uh, A, B, C, D, uh, up to X. Yep. Uh, the X class mean the fastest. Uh, it basically means what spec you can have it. So most cars will have all th uh, all three, which is drag, race, off road, and drift. All four, sorry. But in this yep. case, the Acura and SX what Josh has just pointed out is drag and race. So those are the specs, Josh, by the way. So that, that's my fault, I've got to point that out. Yep. So, so the colon is just say, uh, and, race and, you know, you get the idea. And drag, yeah. So, carry on. So the anyway, first car first is the Acura yep. NSX 2017. Yes, yep. yeah, some of the cars are exactly the same. And that's just a different, a different model. Of that year, basically. Next, oh, and the price, sorry, Josh. Price uh, the sorry. price is one hundred and fifty-six thousand three hundred and fifty. Yes, and they, these are all speed. Uh, need uh, they call them speed points. If you guys have played a lot of Need Speed games, you'll know the speed points by now. Uh, but there you go. So next car, Josh, is also an Acura. What is that one, by the way? Yes, uh, it's the RSX Dash S. Uh, the RSX S, I mean, that's yes. how I pronounce it. And yes. the price now, I think this one's a bit cheaper, isn't it? This one's a bit cheaper. Yeah, it's uh, 43,450. And what's the specs on this one? It's off-road and race, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're correct there. It's off-road and race. Yes, well, I, I, think, I, I think I've also got a similar, list, a similar list here as well. So, now, this is where we can continue the conversation about the Grand Tour series on the speed because a lot of these cars did appear in the first season of the real Grand Tour and a lot of them may appear in the second series as well for those of you who might assume trailer. So as we're talking the Grand Tour, why not move on to the next car on the list? Which was driven by me, Martin. <laughs> next We have uh, the Aston Martin D B eleven. Which yes. is drag and drift and race, costing 154,600. Now, I'll give you another Aston Martin on this, which I think. Yeah. This one seems quite expensive, actually. Is it about 700,000? Uh, costing you 705,000 or 100. A drag, drift, and race. <sighs> is the Aston Martin Vulcan, which appeared on Jesus. the Grand Tour itself. Jesus Christ! 705,000! <laughs> I think I just had a hot sack! <laughs> Jesus Christ! However, we have some brilliant news. That is not, I repeat, not the most expensive car on this list. That is further down this list. So, as we continue with my, one of my personal favourites, just paint it black with the black rims. Oh my God, it is beautiful. And if you've played, the, if you've played uh, Forza Horizon 3, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. James, yes. continue the list. We have a Audi R8 V10 Plus. Drag drift which race. Which is a 2016 model, by the way. Yep. A 2016 model. Which yes, is. is drag drift and race. 
That's actually not a bad price for an Audi. Mm. Now this next one, uh, even though it wasn't the exact model that Jeremy that, that Jeremy drove in the Grand Tour, uh, the one that I'm talking about uh, is the I think it was the A7, uh, that was the, the new S7, uh, Audi RS7 Sportback uh, for the Grand Tour. However, this one is the S5. Mm. But I'm guessing with a bit of uh, upgrading, I'm sure we can turn it into that version. So the RS5 Sportback. Nine, 91,000, which is for drift and race as well. Yeah. That's 91,000 exactly, by the way. Really yep. good. Now, this car, brilliantly, again, was driven by me, and the, it was one of the first ever cars to go around the Ebola drone in the real Grand Tour chest track. And it is a car I've been, I've actually driven it in Horizon 3. It's actually pretty good. Well, on PS4, as the graphics are now better, I'm actually dying to drive this car. Mm. The M2 M2, the 2016 M2. And yes. a bit more expensive than the Audi, actually. Yep, uh, 94,350, drag, drift and race. Yes, now, now this next car, now if you're a Need for Speed fan, Please give this video a like because if you if you're a true Need for Speed fan, then you'll agree with me on this. This next car is one of the most iconic Need for Speed cars ever, including the it'll put all the Need for Speed games together, right? Including Payback mm. and the Need for Speed movie, right? Put all them together out of all the cars that have appeared in every single Need for Speed ever. This is the best one. Josh, can you read that car out, please? And I'll translate it to the proper version after. We have got the BMW M3 E46, uh, 93,850. 93, and the specs, which I believe there are four. Five. Yes, oh, we got five. It's for drag, drift, off-road, race, and runner. Now, runner, I have no, no, I have no idea what that is, so I'm guessing we'll find out. Now, the E46 uh, from Need for Speed Undercover up, I think I might be wrong, but from Need for Speed Undercover upwards until today, and it always will be, it can most easily be turned into the BMW M3 GTR. You can make it look exactly like the M3 GTR. Mm. Just a few changes to the rims. Other than the rims, it'll look exactly like the M3 GTR. And, and one thing that's pissed me off about this one is it's actually more expensive in this than it was in the 2015 Need for Speed. In, tw in the 2015 Need for Speed, I believe it was only 36,000. So it's gone from 36,000 to 93,000. That is a lot. That's a giant step. But, but then, considering that the original M3 GTR in Need for Speed Post 1 to be in particular. Uh, you obviously you know how the story goes, you lose it, you work away from the blacklist, you beat Razor, you get it back, and then should you sell it later on, it went for about two hundred and fifty thousand pounds or dollars in this case. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Which is a decent amount of money. But then once you've sold it you can't get it back. So I understand uh, the E forty six being this price. Now this next BMW is exactly the same, but it's based on the 2008 model. Uh, the E46, I believe, was around 2005, 2006, something like that. Yep. So the E92, Josh, you can skip this one. Uh, the E92 is exactly the same, but the 2008 model, something like that. But however, Josh, could you just do the price and the specs on that one, please? Which 105,150 drag drift race. Yeah, so that's exactly the same as what we've just done with the uh, M3 GTR, which is just the upgraded, the upgraded version, if you like. Now, this one, I think, is also another new one. Yes, this is the BMW M3 Evolution E30. Hmm. Not a, bad, not a bad price tag either. Yeah, but only costing 77950 for drag, now, drift, off-road, race and runner. Car, 
yes, very good. Now, this next part, sorry for listening, but it's just so exciting. Now, me personally, in Forza, it's not my favourite car. Jeremy had his reasons for disliking it. It was a good car overall, but there was so many problems with this. Uh, if you find the episode of the first Grand Tour where Jeremy reviewed the M4 GTS, you'll see what I mean. But we'll see what we, we'll see what we can do with it in payback. So other than that, the M4 GTS. Captain Slow, how much did it cost? 105,750 drag drift race runner. Ooh. Now, the last two BMWs on the list. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the car on the... Now, look at the front cover of the standard edition. Right? Standard... At the standard edition. And on the right-hand side of the Nissan GTR, you will find a car that we've never seen on the road before. And it is brand new, so it's new paper. Josh, is that the M5, I believe? BMW M5 costing 125,450. Wow. Uh, drag drift race. Now, if you see, if you've seen a lot of the three gameplay with the Mustang uh, chasing the truck to get the comments, they get the comments they out the back. Uh, you will know that the BMW X6 and the Dodge Challenger SRT uh, mm. Hellcat, I think. Models. Uh, the Hellcats are quite e uh, quite a bit easier to take out, but when you face enemies of yours in the campaign, you'll find that these guys in the BMW X6s are the hardest to take down because they are st they're, they're like big four by fours, and they are quite strong. So the X6, how much? Hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred and fifty uh, off-road race and runner. Ah. Now this next car actually has an extra spec to it, which is one of my personal favourites. I don't drive, I admit, I don't drive this lot in Forza, but it is one of my favourites, I do like it. It's called, it's pronounced Buick, by the way, Josh. Buick. I, 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 Buick. I, because of our British, ac our British accents, uh, excuse me if you pronounce some of these cars wrong, but that's just our opinions of, of, mm. of our British accents. So the Buick. The Peranda? Buick uh, GNX 56,500 yeah. drift that's drag not, not race. Bad. And I believe it's also a starter car, according to this. Mm. What that means, I have no idea. Now, this one is one of the, I think it's one of the oldest, one of the oldest cars in the game. One of the oldest. And it's also one of my personal favourites. It's the Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, yes. 44,450 drag, drift, off-road, race and a runner. And you've missed one out Josh, which is the most important one. You cannot buy it. It is only a Delari... Uh, um, uh, uh, I can't even think of it. Uh, Derelict. Which means... Yeah, which means you, uh, you drive around the area, drive around uh, Fortune... I believe it's called Fortune Valley. Drive yeah. around Fortune Valley pick up car parts, eventually you'll find the body somewhere in the street and then should you take it to the garage, it will have an estimate price, because if you were to sell it, that would be an estimate price for that one. But a lot of these aren't, but these are including donuts as well. Really. Again, another term on the list, which is also a Chevrolet. Next, Josh? It's the C10 Stepside Pickup. Yes, which is also by Chevrolet. Uh, for 43,500 and it's the same right. specs with the Chevrolet Bel Air. Yeah, and it's also Velvet. Now, for those of you who are fans of Transformers, <laughs> you can definitely make Bumblebee out of this one. Josh, would you like to do the honours? It's the Chevrolet Camaro SS. Yes. 49,850 drag drift race. Actually, I've just, I've just made one small error. That one that Josh has just read out is actually the 1970 model. The model from 1970, that one we had in Dark of the Moon at the start, then transformed into the modern one a bit later on. This next one, which is the Z20, uh, if you're American, you're playing as the Z28. In the UK, we prefer say the Z28, uh, which is also one of these modern Camaro. 
which is. Yeah. Uh, Josh, could you just repeat the price of the SS? Uh, 49,850. Now do the Z28. 115,450. It's a very drifting race. Ooh, wow! Nice. It's not for Camara, that's not bad. But considering it's modern, it's rather quite good. Now, this next one, uh, I believe, uh, it's also has a nickname, which I believe is the Corvette C7. Which is also called the Grand Sport. Yes. Can we, change the words? Can, we, can, we change, can, can we change the word sport to tour, please? Because we're actually talking the Grand Tour. Most of these cars are from the Grand Tour, but never mind. Come on. Yeah. Well, this car is costing 116,600. Drag drift race. Yes, drag drift race, yes. Now, the, uh, for those of you who are fans of Need Speed Most Wanted and Need Speed Carbon, you'll know who Cross is. Cross, the Vector Hunter. Mm. He's, he's calling in here as well, the Z06, which is costing. Da, 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 da. 131,150. Which is exact, and the specs are exactly the same as the Corvette Grand Sports. Now, moving on to, I think, this next one. Whether it's the Hellcat edition, I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. But, one of Richard Hammond's favourite cars. And one of the most hated cars by Captain Slow. Oh, Gosh, God. Would you like to read that car out, even though it's your worst nightmare? The worst nightmare. Dodge Challenger SRT8. Yes. 92,300. Drag drift race runner. Yep. Yeah. And the Dodge Charger. Now, there are, I think there are, there's supposed to be two of these. One is modern, one is classic. I believe it's the modern version, which I think, more, uh, more, more importantly, I think would be either the 2012 model or the 2015 model. I think it might be the 2015 model, actually. Mm. So, the Dodge Charger, Josh? 105,300 with drag, yep, drift, off road, race, runner. And I'll just give notice because this is a long list, uh, we might have to do a part two of this. So, Josh, if you feel that we've been recording a long time, at some point just pause for a minute and just say, well, unfortunately, that's the end of part one, uh, end part one, and then just start another one straight after. Say, hello, welcome to part two. Check out part of it, and you, you get the idea. Yep. So well, anyway, on with the list. Now, these next ones are onto the Fords. When we get to the when we get to the ones that we uh, point out, I will point out when I should. So, Josh, can you continue the list, starting with the F50 Raptor? Yes. Seven. Off-road, yep. seventy-two thousand nine hundred and fifty. Yes. Yeah, because it is it, it, it's an off -road, it is an off road truck. It's amazing. Then we have a uh, Ford Focus RS, which is yes, seventy six thousand four hundred and fifty off road race runner. Yep. And we've come on to a big one. Yeah, we've got uh, the Ford GT. For yeah, drag I'm, really, I'm, most, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. That that is the 2007, uh, 2017 model, which yeah. no, two, no, sorry, 2016, sorry, 2016 model that appeared in Forza Motorsport 6. Yes. Now this next one, now this next one is my favourite. Oh, okay, I love the M4 GTR, but for sound, oh my God, this car is beautiful. Josh, can you do the honours, please? I believe it's the Ford Mustang. Well, one of well, actually one of them is the one in the campaign. If it is a Derrick car, uh, Derrick car, I'm not being very happy. The, on, anyway. the Ford Mustang is thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and fifty drag, oh. drift, off-road race runner. But from what I'm seeing on the list, it is a derelict. No, actually, uh, that's that's my fault. I've actually found my favourite one. It's further down. So carry on. Then we have the Ford Mustang Boss 302. Which is a classic, by the way. Um, the we have the it's seventy-eight thousand three hundred and fifty. No, it might be the one one actually. Yeah, I think. The Ford Mustang Fox yeah. Body, fifty-six thousand one hundred. It's actually a new one actually. I don't know if I've ever heard of this one. 
Mm. Then we go on to the Ford Mustang yeah. GT. Which is my personal favourite. <laughs> oh, come on. If you've seen the gameplay of that mission uh, with the truck and the Kinetic, if you've seen that mission, you'll know exactly what car I'm talking about. You've got to love that car. It is so beautiful. And since Forza Horizon 3, it is actually the modern version, which is 2016. 2016. Modern. Yep. So. Onions. Can you continue the list? Yes, we have the Ford Roadster, 54,200. And it does. Mm. And we have a Ford Roadster again, but at uh, Beck Customs. Which. which I have Beck Customs. I've no idea what they're talking about. And it costs. 1 million. No, it's one, two, three, four, five. There's six zeros and a one, so that's one million. So one of the most expensive cars in the game, and yet I can tell you, it's still not the most expensive car in the game. I don't think. Yep. Well, well I think. That's it yes. So I think we we will leave it there for part one. Uh, so. Yep. We'll leave it for part one. So we will see you guys in part two of this Conversation Street special for Need for yes. Speed. Yes. So if you've enjoyed this part, and like we said, if you agree with some of our points, give this video a like. If you can, follow us on Twitter. We'll put this video on Twitter as well. Any questions about this video, leave them on Twitter. And if you love this video, because you're a fan of Need for Speed, then please give it a like. If you haven't already, mm -hmm. subscribe to Josh's channel. Because from this because it comes out this Friday, November the 10th. From this Friday, both me and Josh on our channels will be doing a lot of this deep speed payback. So if you haven't already, if you're new, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon for part two. We'll see you guys in part two.